Honestly, this is going to be a joke. This is going to be a joke that I'm stuck in a dark room for a night. But I'm literally stuck in a dark room for the night. No, but in all seriousness, um, I am spending the night in the Silver Grain studio because there will be a workshop tomorrow and the day after that will also be packed in a future video. And, and I just thought I would sneak you around and show you every photographer's dream to spend the night in a super professional, pretty cool photo studio. So here you can see the kind of, uh, you know, background things. And this lady here is um, my companion for the night. What do you have to say? Do you have anything to say? Just please uh, don't, don't talk to me. And other than that, cameras, 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 cameras. Hasselblad, Hasselblad. I have not tried this film yet. I think I should give it a try one day, so it's nice to see it around here as well. Another Hasselblad, I guess. Radio, I can turn on the radio actually. Well, that is really heavy. Um, audio equipment, Pff, okay, big light. Um, yeah, some 4x5 camera, or is it 4x5 or even bigger? Anyway, big lens, big mirror, um, a lot of equipment. So yeah, I'm going to have my sad looking dinner, which in fact is not a dinner, but by now a midnight snack. Um, but this is looking a little bit too dark here. But you know what? I'm in a photo studio and I can just bring some lights in. Uh, Marvan, if you see that, I, I will put that light back where it was and <laughs> Trust me, nothing's gonna break. Let's get the light in here. I will not mess around with the settings because I'm sure they set it up for the workshop tomorrow. So if it's too blue or too light, that's okay. We're not gonna mess around with that, but I will stay like this and look like a murderer who's going to be convicted or being asked about the crime scene and eat my banana. Oh, pretty good. And now the last parts. The film fridge. We have a bunch of film. Sadly, this is not... Um, to grab for visitors because then this thing would be empty. We have water and wine, I guess. And now comes my absolutely favorite part. Just look at this. We're entering. Ta da! It's dark now, but that's good because it's the dark room. <laughs> look at this. I, I, I mean, I could put the bed in here and sleep right here, but I mean. Um, with the fumes, it's probably not the best idea. But imagine spending the night in a dark room with all the big boys, the 4x5 enlargers, the medium format enlargers, the 35mm enlargers, a big, big sink to have all the trays in here. Oh, this is a dream dark room, seriously. All the chemicals up here. Oh, and just, there's nobody here. I can dance in this room. I can party in this room. I can sleep in this room, even if I want to. And I think this is beautiful. I just look at this. This is the best part. Uh, wait, how did he do it? Okay, I think I have to push this thing, but I'm too small to push it. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. Come on, let me out. Echt jetzt? Nein, 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 nein. 
Nudeln hier raus. Das ist jetzt echt ein Scherz, oder? Oh! Honestly, this is going to be a joke. This is going to be a joke that I'm stuck in a dark room for a night. But I'm literally stuck in a dark room for the night. Today is the 1st of April and I am not kidding you. This is not a joke. I cannot exit this thing. What? Seriously, what can I do? How do I come out? What the fuck? I don't even have my phone on me and I'm stuck in this dark room. He showed me before how I can operate this and I didn't... Ugh. You just have to push it open! I'm free. Okay, come on. <sighs> okay, I'm just, I need to recover from the shock, but this is the drying, drying rack for film. Coffee machine, most important thing. And do I have to turn this one off? No, no, no! Well, yeah, coffee machine. And yeah, there's just the bathroom which has a lot of equipment for the workshop tomorrow so just ignore that but which has this beauty here the ATL3 the dream this this is seriously the dream shot brushing my teeth having all the stuff in the background the vintage aqua in the background come on I love it I love it so much I don't understand what this, 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 this is awesome. This is simply awesome. I would like to look like this. No one in truck. It's this stuff. And this is the bathroom. Does somebody understand me? Like, not kind of the toothbrush, but what I'm saying, what does everybody understand? I would love to look like this, seriously. Oh, I think um, I could be scared because of this lady and a lot of different things, because I'm alone in a big building in a city, I don't know. Maybe this could be a reason why I'm scared, but I'm not because it's just so cool and I'm gonna lay in my bed, <laughs> sleep, have all the film stuff around me, dream about film. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be fine. Just real quick, I wanted to show you the equipment I got for tomorrow. And because we're doing a, surprise, surprise, motion picture 16 millimeter workshop, I brought my X-Pen because, come on, what could suit better than a cinematic camera? Um, yeah, with a panoramic format for this occasion. I got a promised filter with me and I'm gonna show you the film I got for the workshop. So, got some Tri-X for the BTS look. Foma Palm 400 and some Neopan and thanks uh, to Bartek for this because he sent me this all the way from Poland and I can't wait to shoot this so thanks so much again and yeah that's it so not sure which films I'm gonna use but maybe um, yeah I, I just knew I wanted to go for black and white for some BTS shots but we'll see depending on the light which film it will be so I'm doing that I also thought I would show you the rest of the studio creepy dark big and larger light Toilet. I'm not gonna show you this one, but let's see if we can find the right key for the rest of the studio. Okay. Would have been too easy to have it with the first try. Oh, second one. Karen, not bad. Yeah, and this is 
the rest of the studio, which is full of workshop equipment, so this is not how it usually looks like. But as you can see, we have two drum scanners here, which is every photographer's wet dream. Sorry, but it's true. Camera, oh, I haven't seen that one. Nice, like M3 right here. Um, Pentacon 6, another Hesse, some, yeah, equipment. Um, big light table, negatives, scanning stations and all that. And also, this is pretty cool. Um, a analog geyser or I don't know, probably has some fancy name where you can put um, digital images and transfer them to a film bag to make them uh, analog, which I think is pretty cool. I'm pretty tired and I'm going to go to sleep now. But first I wanted to say thank you for following me around and making me feel a little bit less scared to spend the night in a photo studio and being observed by this lady over there. And thanks also to Silvergrain for letting me sleep in the studio and letting me explore all the little adventurous film photography heaven corners uh, in here. So yeah, I'm going to close my eyes now, dream about film, dream about um, photography stuff. And gonna say good night to you all.